Hey y'all, Mike here from All American Reviews, and today I'm talking about how to find wallets made in the USA. The right wallet can last you a really long time, but it has to be well made. There are a lot of different options out there to choose from, so how do you know the good from the bad and the stuff that's made in America versus the stuff that isn't? That's what we're going to cover in today's video. I'm going to cover how to spot wallets that are made in the USA, my top picks for American-made wallets, and make sure to stick around to the end of the video where we'll be answering some frequently asked questions. I've also written about this exact same topic before, so check in the description below for a link to that article, or you can just Google All American Reviews Best Wallets. And if you're passionate about buying American-made products, give this video a like. Remember to subscribe to our channel and head over to allamericanreviews.com. There you'll find a ton of research and buying guides on shopping American made. All right, let's get into today's video on how to find wallets made in the USA. First up, let's cover how to spot which wallets are made in the USA. Now you really wanna focus on two things in particular here. One is where are the wallets assembled? And then two is where are the materials being sourced from? We're gonna start with the latter sourcing. Wallets can be made from a wide variety of materials, but most of the popular options that you're going to see on the market today are going to be made from either leather, cotton or fabric, or a synthetic material. I've talked about cotton in previous videos. There are a lot of good options for sourcing that material locally. Moving on to the synthetic material, that is actually often used to mimic leather. It's a lot cheaper to produce, so it's often used by companies who also ship out all of their manufacturing overseas. So just make sure to do your research ahead of time if you do like some options with that synthetic material. Which brings us to leather, arguably the most popular material used in wallets today. Leather quality varies immensely depending on where that leather is from and the tanning process. What you wanna look for here is full grain leather or true cowhide. Full grain leather is the real deal. It is the highest quality leather that is going to last you the longest and that's because it is unaltered. So if a cow has a scratch on its hide or something like that, you'll often see that appear on your wallet. Full grain is definitely my favorite and what I recommend to most folks. Top grain leather is one step down from full grain, which basically means that they have altered the cow hide in some way, typically sanding it down to hide imperfections, which can actually weaken the cow hide. What you want to watch out for and stay away from is genuine leather. Genuine leather is basically a catch-all term for anything that meets the rather loose definition of technically leather. And these days, in the last few years, in the recent expansion of the term, actually doesn't even have to be cow hide. It can mean goats, pigs, or just a bunch of scraps of discarded leather that are Frankenstein together to make your wallet. All of that encompasses genuine leather, so naturally those shortcuts are going to make it cheaper to produce and thus more attractive to those companies who are also shipping out their manufacturing overseas. These wallets are definitely not going to last you as long, but if you're on a budget, it could be the right option for you. No matter what type of leather you go with, just make sure you know where those cows are from and where the tanning is being done. That will give you 90% plus of the country of origin for materials if you're looking at leather wallets specifically. And of course, you obviously wanna make sure that those factories are in the US and they are assembling those wallets domestically. Fortunately, like I've talked about in previous videos, we have some U.S. legislation on our side that helps us identify the country of origin. Title 19, Chapter 4, Section 1304 of the United States Code states that any primarily imported products must be labeled as such with their country of origin on the product or packaging. Unfortunately, that doesn't apply to marketing materials, so if you don't have the product right in front of you, it can be really tough to tell where the country of origin is. That's when calling the brand helps out a lot. Talk to their customer team, talk to their operations team, and ask them where they are assembling and sourcing their wallets. Or you could just head over to allamericanreviews.com as well and see if we've done the research for you. Last thing before I get to my top picks, words matter. If they are using made in the USA language in their marketing, scrutinize it heavily and watch out for red flags like assembled in the USA or any mentions of imported materials or global materials or any other qualifiers like that. I have a full video with a bunch of these tips on how to tell if a product is made in the USA, which I've linked to above. 
All right, now that we've covered some tips on how to spot wallets made in the USA, let's get into my top picks for American-made wallets. Now, there are a lot of good options out there for wallets made in the USA, and more than I have time to cover in today's video. So, for all of our research on wallets, make sure to head over to allamericanreviews.com. I've linked that article in the description below. Or, like I said earlier, you can also just Google All American Reviews Wallets, and you should find our research there. First up is Ezra Arthur. More specifically, their number six wallet, which is a traditional bifold wallet that is handcrafted from 100% leather that is sourced from a local tannery in the Chicago area, which actually sources the leather for a couple of our other top picks as well. Ezra Arthur is owned by four brothers and is headquartered in Arizona. They take a lot of pride in handcrafting all of their products and the quality of their products really shows. They have some cool videos with an inside look at their production process on their website, which y'all should definitely check out. In addition to the number six bifold wallet, Ezra Arthur also has a bunch of different style options. So if you prefer a cash fold or a front pocket wallet or another variety, they should have something for you to choose from and all are made in the USA. Next is Lifetime Leather. Lifetime Leather makes a lot of different leather products and they are hand making their full grain leather wallets in Arizona. If you're looking for a sleek minimalist leather wallet, I like the Lifetime Leather Rivet Wallet. It has a little bit of a different look than a traditional minimalist wallet with some metal rivets going up the side, but I think it looks really cool and it works pretty well with just a few cards and some cash. Ladies, Lifetime Leather also has some good leather clutch wallet options, which y'all should definitely check out. Next is North Star Leather. These folks have been making high quality leather goods in the USA since 1969. For the gents, I like the money clip and trifold wallet options. Both are a good value in my opinion and won't break the bank, but are really good quality. North Star Leather also makes a ton of great wallets for women. Their Horween leather zipper wallet as well as their leather clutch wallet are two really popular options. Next is Rogue Industries. Rogue Industries is a small family owned shop in Portland, Maine, and they focus on making front pocket wallets. They have a unique curved design that fits the shape of your front pocket really well and has a pretty slim profile. Rogue Industries also makes some great travel wallets and leather clutches for women, as well as some beautiful card cases. So if you have back pain and don't wanna be sitting on your wallet all day, or if you just like the convenience and look of a front pocket wallet, definitely check out Rogue Industries. And the last brand I'll cover in today's video is Friday and River. Friday and River wallets are made in San Diego, California, and they have a big focus on eco-friendliness and minimizing waste in their manufacturing process. They make card holders and bifold leather wallets, and I really like these wallets because they are made from a single piece of leather and they are hand stitched, so they actually look pretty unique compared to your traditional bifold wallet. The leather in these wallets also holds up pretty well over time, so definitely check out Friday and River. Now, let's get to some frequently asked questions. First up, are fossil wallets made in the USA? And the answer is no, Fossil is a Texas-based company, but they manufacture all of their wallets in Asia. Next, are Ridge wallets made in the USA? And the answer is no, Ridge is a popular metal wallet manufacturer, but they make most of their wallets also in Asia. And lastly, just a couple other brands that you'll see thrown around when you're searching for wallets. First up is Herschel. They are a popular fabric RFID blocking wallet. They're actually a Canadian company and do most of their manufacturing in China. And then Bellroy is another one. They are a popular slim wallet option. They're actually an Australian company that does pretty much all of their manufacturing in China, India, and the Philippines. All right, that's it for this video on how to find wallets made in the USA. If y'all have any questions, drop a comment below or shoot us a message at All American Reviews and we'll find an answer for you and write something up. If you like this video, remember to like and subscribe, and thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See y'all next time.